Hello YouTube, St. Bob here of St. Bob's YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be episode 8 um, of our Let's Play series of Zion. And as you remember, we did finally make it into zone 904, but we are um, one zone below. So um, that is 864. So I think the um, zone 904 is about over there, just somewhere. But we are, we are just across the border, so it's not too much of a big issue. Um, and I left the video off where we were actually looking for a decent place to set up camp. Now, what I thought, I've been thinking long and hard. Um, I am getting a little bit of lag because I am updating, uh, I am uploading another video. So we'll just wait for that to come through. Um, you can see my ping is at like a thousand MS because I'm uploading uh, episode 7. Um, but uh, what I said was that we we're going to probably do something um, or have a try pretty much where we could overlook everything, maybe set up some sort of toll bridge. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether we're going to be able to do that, uh, especially with the starting tribe. But I figured that what we would do is have a nice place where we can look over everything else there we go the legs calm down now um, and be far enough away to get full advantage of junk so when you scavenge and I've said in a previous series that if you scavenge and um, the further away you are when you scavenge from your totem I think it's from the totem itself not the um, the radius of your tribe but um, once um, the, the further away you are away, the better chance you've got of finding more valuable items. So, what I figured was, I've had a look around. This here would be extremely ideal. Let me just uh, unhook my card. This would be ideal. It's not uh, overlooking anything, which is a big issue. Um, because I would have liked to, you know, the tribe to be like kind of a focal point in the zone. Uh, where, you know, you can see it was big enough and it was quite high up. Um, like on top of a top of a hill or something like that, um, but it's nice and flat round here. Well, it was flat. Um, it was nice and flat round here. There's plenty of junk around, but there's a totem there, so we can't really do that. So that's not a big issue. It's not a big issue. There's plenty of nice places, and also, uh, whilst we're on the uh, the subject of of nice places, can I just say if you manage to find, oh, let's open. Uh, oh, recipes. Well, don't mind if I do. We'll take some of these. Uh, all these. Um, Diagonal gatherer shoulder pads. Oh, that'll go nicely with my uh, grass. You can't carry that here. Oh, I see. Okay, so we actually need to pop that on there. Open that. Ah, okay, I get it. I get it. Still learning how to use it. Um, arm bands. I don't know. Are they leather? They might be leather. Yeah, I think these are leather. Um, not too, not too bothered about those. But yeah, nice find that was. Um, so, in fact, you can never have too many containers. So we'll pick this up as well. Pop that back in there. Right, so um, oh, God. there we go. There we go. Right, ready to go. So that's been a bit of an issue. There's a there's a totem over there, um, so we can't really do much with that. But it's it's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, that's the pandemic tribe over there. Um, let's should we go and take a look. Let's go and take a look. Um, I've had a, I've had a quick scout round, and I've got to be honest, you'll be impressed. And um, I think Pandemic, when they were around, when they were active, they actually did quite a bit of stuff to annoy a few people. But that does not take away the fact they have made a huge achievement um, with what I'm about to show you. Um, which I think is pretty good. Um, and it was back, got at least about six months ago, I think, was this uh, when this tribe was, was most active. But... Um, this will blow your mind, seriously. Let me unhook. In fact, no, I can't unhook my car because I'm in a tribe area. This will blow your mind. Look at that. They have actually dug out all of that 
and they've raised this middle bit here and they've flattened it all out I'm trying to get it so you can actually see I mean look how deep that is I mean seriously I don't think you understand how deep that is it's like if you put me stood on top of myself all the way from the bottom to the top it would probably take about 50 so I, I would say it's probably about a good 70 to yeah I would say it's probably about 70 meters high probably 70 in game meters high maybe a bit more the volume of that is in, is incredible and I think it kinda goes round a little bit um, so that is pretty cool so we're gonna have a look inside let's see if we can actually get inside whilst I do that I'm gonna take a nice little drink of my uh, English uh, Yorkshire tea oh that's wonderful right I don't actually think we can get in that is a big shame um, I wonder if we can get around one of the other sides let's take a tour let's take a tour oh they've got like a tower going on there let's take a tour around shall we do, 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 do. so it's pretty impressive I've got to, got to admit so you, you can pretty much see anyway I mean I probably don't really need to go in there but you can see kind of how flat they've done the land and everything that's pretty cool um, and their tribe area actually does extend that flat area we're still in it now um, I'm not going to go that way because I'm not going to go that way don't need to go that way so I'm just going to go over but we should be able to see roughly what um, if I can get across would be quite a clue if we could get in there obviously I could I could get in there without the car but I can't really put the car down anyway Let's have a look. So that's where we're going to head over there. Uh, I'm thinking we could have it up up there somewhere because uh, this junk pile here extends far, far, far out. And obviously, you can see it's just rendering the the, the terrain in the distance now because I've just got the terrain draw distance uh, lowered to the lowest setting. So obviously, that's why it's it's not in great detail in the background. But I, I could actually probably increase it a bit more. Um, let's have a look. I think I've got to. I actually think I've got to turn my t uh, terrain detail up, and I can't really do that because it'll go. Let's we'll look inside this basket. Is it open? Nope. Okie dokie. Um, so this is kind of where we're going to go. There's like a little hut over there. Don't know what's going on there. It looks a bit of a mess actually. Um some baskets here so let's let's go and have a look at these baskets because you never know you never know let's unhook let's in we go let's have a look I doubt we're going to get anything because yeah just quickly go over to this one oh my god these containers everywhere all ripe for the picking it's like Skyrim, you know, you've got to pick and loot everything that you see, otherwise you think you might be missing something. You never know if there's going to be like a, a an epic item or some sort of... Oh, yes. Oh, nothing too good. Um, no, no point taking those because I can make them now. So there we go. So yeah, there's no point taking those. Let's go and have a look at these two over here. I'm going to run out of energy as well. And then I'll talk about my journey here. Because uh, it was quite an interesting one. Oh, it's open. Can we get anything for that? plastic studs, stainless nails, 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 nails? Well, we could take some of these. Uh, we could take the nails and the screws, I suppose. Give us a bit of a head start. Um, some boards here. Hoe head. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's grab this one quickly. 
and then we'll head over to a to a place where I saw what I thought was a good good spot. Right, so I'm gonna rest and we'll go over there and I'll check that out. And there's a tribe up there, we'll go and see who our neighbours are. Uh, looks like there's a tribe there and a tribe here, so we'll go and have a look at who our neighbours are. I've not actually been there yet, and there's a tribe there. Um, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm it's gonna I'm going to try and build it up there somewhere um, and have a road that comes all the way down to the to this junk area here. Um, that's my plan. Now, how that's going to work out, I don't know, and I'm hoping that quite a lot of people are going to are going to join me so that we can get quite a large size area. Um, um, I'm just going to talk to this uh, this guy in the uh, in the global. I'm compelled to help. Anyway, um, yeah, so let me just get a bit of rest and we'll talk about my journey. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but right there, if you can see my cursor, my mouse pointer, right there is a road, okay? Uh, if you look on the map here, uh, it's that road there that goes there, like that, and that's the, the river that follows it. That road there, and if you follow that road to as far as it goes, right to the top, it's an amazing, an absolute amazing walk it really is, there's some really cool features there it's a bit of a challenge it's kind of overgrown with trees and uh, I did get stuck at one point, it took me about half an hour to get out of it um, but I cut some trees down and managed to managed to get through um, so hopefully I've done people a bit of a favour by clearing that road um, but yeah, fantastic, an absolute fantastic run it was amazing, um, the, the, the views that you got from there, from coming down here over there was amazing um, and there's some like caves um, like winding rivers and all, oh it was really good was really nice um, one of the better terrains I've, I've seen in, a, in quite a while so let's uh, what we'll do is we'll just head over to this uh, now I've got cement oh really really you can't I can't get over that are you actually being serious okay so I'll look can we get over this yes we can Right, so I'm just going to go around, open any containers I can find because you never know. Another man's loss is another man's gain, so to speak. Um, and I don't have anything other than a cart, so anything that we can put in this cart is an added bonus, of course. Um, it doesn't actually look like this is a tribe, is it? Alessia? Jack's entering the list. I, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's just go out to this. I don't know if this is a tribe area or not. Is it a tribe area? Alessia. Can't find a totem. Just gonna have a look so we can see a totem. Might be one. Hmm. Oh, there's a couple of sneaky. nails. There's no nails in here my friend. Um, but we will take... oh we can't. Uh, I really should carry a, a little pouch around with me. Let me open this and put a pouch in there. Yes. Just so I can go around and pick up slight things. Let's, let's pick this twine up because twine... In fact no, let's not pick the twine up. I can make it. I can make it. I've just spent hours and hours searching for and um, building uh, some twine and string for baby at the industrial strength boot camp tribe. So let's just. I don't think I don't, can't see a totem, so I don't know where this totem is. Oh, it's there. Look. Okay. So this is a, uh, a tribe. It's fair enough. Can 
Can we actually open it? Either? No, I can't do that. All right. No problem. Let's uh, let's go around. It's a shame. I would have liked to have looted all of that. Okay. Let's go take a look. Then let's keep going on our travels. Do -do 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 do 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 do. Let's get onto this road over here. There's a road over here somewhere. Yep. Have another drink, I think. Oh, that is such a nice cup of tea. Right, let's have a look at some more containers. We will get to the place, slowly, but we will get there. Now... Oh, it's open. Just full of random. Yeah, I don't really need any of that stuff just yet. It's good though. At least we can come round and we can actually. We you know we know that there's uh, that there's actually stuff here. Um, that we can perhaps utilise. Some guy called Fomar. Or Fomar or something. So this place does look like there's a couple of act, uh, a couple of tribes. I don't know how active they are, but there's tribes nonetheless, so it's not a barren place. Um, can we pick this up? Yeah, we can take that. don't know why I'm picking all these up, because we can make them anyway, so there's absolutely no point whatsoever. Um, Big John. Hello, Big John. So look. Um, uh, right, last basket, and then that's it. That's it. We're going to go to our next place. We're going to uh, dismiss any sort of temptation to loot any more bins. We're just going to go. Let's see if we can find the place where I decided. What's important is when you're building on a hillside that I actually realised when I was searching for the place uh, when, you, when you're actually uh, looking at placing it on a hillside a few things you've got to you've got to take into consideration one is try not to put your tribe anywhere where there's this texture here this white texture in front of us um, because that's granite and you cannot terraform granite which kind of sucks, but I suppose it's probably true, you know, it's quite accurate, you can't really use a shovel on granite. Um, so at the moment you can't actually do that. So when you are planting your totem it would be a very good idea to actually take that into, into consideration because what you don't want to do is find yourself um, yeah, you don't want to find yourself with a, a tribe area full of uh, granite. That's one thing you've got to look out for. Another thing that you want to look out for also is that if you um, are going to place Toto on a hillside, ideally what you want to do is make sure that you place your totem on a flat area. If you don't put it on a flat area and then you want to terraform later and create a nice flat surface for your tribe, you'll come to your totem and you'll go, oh no, I can't terraform here. It's telling me I can't terraform here. So once you actually have um, created your tribe, make sure it is on a flat surface because if you don't, there's going to be, you're going to get quite a bit, you know, there's going to be quite a bit of trouble trying to, trying to flatten it all out. Um, so what my what my um, advice would be is to when you are finding a totem, this is where we're going to place it. When you are finding um, your tribe area, as it seems, I'm having a little bit of an issue actually uh, recording the last part of this episode, which is uh, a bit of a bummer. But um, I'll try and get it rectified and make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, as I was saying in my last part of the, uh, you know, the last part of the video was that 
if you're going to put a tribe on an, on an area like this on a hillside make sure that when you place your totem that it's on as flat a surface as you can find um, what you want to do is you can see I've actually placed a totem here already in the end of the last video that failed to record properly um, what, um, what, what you should be looking for is if you can see where I placed my totem here um, it's at eight five, uh, 38580 and it's like that all the way around okay now that there uh, means that when you start to terraform you can terraform your tribe land to that level all of it to that level if that's what you're doing um, because if you put that on a on a slant on like a you know like something like this where it's dot five nine you won't be able to terraform around your totem because it doesn't allow you to terraform when there's an object nearby um, and that counts as an object unfortunately so you do have to make sure that when you do put a totem down like this that it is on a flat surface and that you can actually go all the way around it um, there's a slight incline there but that should be okay I think that's too too close so you should be able to, to terraform around that now without it actually um, interfering with any terraforming so that's that's good what I wanted to say in my last video in the last uh, part of the, the video was simply this I've called this uh, tribe uh, short stay once again it is something that I'm going to change and I'd love the help of my viewers if you are um, enjoying my videos and you want to see more and uh, you want to have a little bit of input in the videos then I would seriously seriously appreciate it if uh, you could come up with some names for me I will obviously look I don't want you to do all the work don't get me wrong I don't want you to do any of the work but if you feel like you know you've just got a, a tribe name on the end of your tongue or, or just something that you think would be an absolute amazing tribe name then please let me know um, I want it to be something that is Zion related something that's kind of like American Indian you know cowboys and Indians era um, I mean things like the Hopi tribe is quite a cool name uh, the Apache tribes cool name um, anything that, that, that kind of fits that genre um, and that uh, that timeline would be would be awesome I think that's kind of very fitting for this this moment in time and this this kind of stage of, of Zion as well so if anybody is, is willing to come up with some names that would be awesome and of course if I do pick your um, you know what hell to it anybody that submits some realistic and serious names I'll give you a shout out anyway in the videos um, and say hello and uh, thank you for your for your uh, for your effort and then um, if anybody picks one that I choose then I will obviously credit them where credit is due so again you know if if you've got some cool names then please just let me know put it in the comments below um, as for inviting people this is going to be a temporary a temporary totem um, until I've got a decent name which I'm hoping that you guys are going to help me with once I've got a, a name I'll replant the totem down it's going to take me a few hours because obviously I need to, uh, there's a cool down period on how many times you can place a totem um, so there is like a few hours in between so I'm going to wait for that to cool off um, which will probably give me enough time anyway to render and upload the video and by that time the cool the cool down will be off anyway um, I'll read your comments and I'll choose at that point in the next episode hopefully I'm going to be recruiting some uh, some players I've had a few um, requests already to join which is great um, what I do want to say and this might sound a little bit harsh um, I don't want anybody to think that we're going to take any shortcuts um, or any any cheats so to speak so anybody who thinks that they they can join and I'll give them an invite and we can death port back here then that's just not going to happen um, I want to do it as legit as possible I want to play the game as it's meant to be played um, and not use any workarounds or shortcuts so if anybody wants to join no matter where you are in the world I will come to you in the game world obviously not the real world because that would just be silly um, but yeah, anywhere in the game world, don't worry, I will come to you, I'll bring my cart, hopefully you might have some carts yourself, if you don't, not an issue, bring what item we can fit in the cart, I'll bring obviously an empty cart, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll walk back and we'll, we'll have a nice journey back together. Um, so yeah, that's how I want to do it, I don't ever want to cheat, I don't ever want to use any sort of tricks or 
um, unless it's the multi-story building trick and that's that's cool because that's fine and Jordy has also said in the in the interview that he did on the Sandbox uh, podcast that he was fine with players doing that um, but what I don't want to do is do any like the death porting and, and stuff it's just not it's just not cool man it's just not cool um, so guys that's going to bring uh, a nice end um, to the to this episode um, I do want to cut it there because it's probably coming up to now like 30 minutes worth of video which is going to take me about 20 hours to upload at 30k a, a sec upload speeds which is rubbish but that's the UK for you um, so I'm going to cut it here and the next episode uh, hopefully I'll have some invites, hopefully I'll have a, a new name for the tribe and uh, maybe in between that I might craft myself some uh, some grass armour I've got the new Diagua set and I've just picked up some new shoulder pads so um, hopefully I'll have a new new costume for you so guys thanks very much for watching and I shall see you in next episode